Hello, my name is Jerry Bant with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will demonstrate how to download a call management system ASG authentication file from the Authentication File System, or AFS. First, I'll cover a slide with some details regarding CMS ASG authentication files. Then I'll demonstrate the process to download a CMS-specific authentication file. The CMS R17 release added ASG authentication support for the Avaya services logins. This enhances the security for these logins over standard password authentication. ASG authentication does not impact the customer logins. Only the Avaya services logins used for maintenance are affected. When the new ASG software is installed on the CMS during implementation, a default authentication file is loaded so that the services logins will have ASG authentication immediately. For increased security, a unique authentication file can be downloaded and installed on the CMS to replace the default file. This is not mandatory, but it is highly recommended. You can download a unique authentication file from the URL shown highlighted on the screen. Two options are available to receive the authentication file. First, you can download the file to a directory on your PC, or you can email the file to your email address. An example authentication file name is highlighted on the screen. It is a .xml extension file type. The file name will start with AF- followed by a 10-digit number starting with 7. This 10-digit number is called the Authentication File ID, or AFID, and it will be unique to this file. Now I will demo how to download a CMS authentication file from AFS, which is the Authentication File System. First, use your web browser to go to the RFA URL shown previously on the slide. You may be asked to provide your single sign-on credentials. The AFS and RFA main web page will display. Click on this Start the AFS Application button. A caution message will display stating this is a secure application containing confidential and proprietary information. Click on the I Agree button to proceed. The first AFS web page displays. In the upper right corner are links you can use to log out or exit AFS and return to the main RFA and AFS web page that initially came up. To begin, use the drop down arrow next to the product field and select Avaya CMS as the product. Now use the drop down arrow for release to select the appropriate release number. Initially, 17.x is the only entry, but as additional major CMS releases come out, they will be added to the list. I will select 17.x for the release. Notice there is an information box in the middle of the screen. 
If you are requesting an authentication file for a major release upgrade or redelivery of a corrupted or lost file, you need to have the AFID for the file you are replacing. We'll go over more details on the AFID in the next screen. Now click the Next button to proceed. The Authentication File Delivery web page displays. There are two choices on this page. The first is for a new system. Select this option for downloading an authentication file for a new CMS system installation where a unique authentication file has not yet been installed. If you need to get another copy of a previously downloaded authentication file, or this is for a major release upgrade of a CMS that already had an AF file installed, then select the second option for upgrade or redelivery. For this option, you need to provide the 10 digit AFID associated with the existing file. This AFID is part of the file name as I showed previously in the slides. Also, if you attempt to remotely log into an ASG enabled CMS system with the Craft login, the system will respond with the current AFID and ASG challenge. For this demo, I will select the New System option and then click on the Next button. The download delivery methods are the same for either option. On this screen, there are two options to download the authentication file. The first is to download the file to your PC. The second is to download the file as an email attachment. Your email address associated with the sign-on credentials will be pre-populated. For the Download to PC option, you will be able to browse to the directory where you want to store the file. For the Email option, verify the email address is correct or change it to a different address and click on the Download File via Email button. For this demo, I will download the authentication file to my PC by clicking on that button. After a few seconds, the file download message window displays. Click on Save to save the file to your PC. You'll notice the file name highlighted on the screen. As I stated before, authentication files have a .xml extension. They begin with AF- followed by the 10-digit AFID number, which starts with the number 7. I will save this file under My Documents via AuthFiles folder. The Download Complete message window displays. I'll click on the Open Folder button. You can see that the file I just downloaded is in this folder. Now I will close this folder window. The AFS screen displays the product, release, an AFID for the file I just downloaded. If needed, you can click the Create Another Authentication File button if you need to download another auth file for CMS or another product. Now I'm finished, so I'll click Logout in the upper right corner. Now I'll click OK in the Message window. The AFS web page closed. Now you can log out of the AFS and RFA main web page. Again, click OK at the message window.
This concludes the demo on how to download a CMS authentication file from AFS. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.